Waste Not Want Not exists to prevent the discarding of food that can be used to fight hunger and poverty in our community. More than one quarter of all the food produced in this country is destroyed before it is sold. Wholesome food is moved directly from store shelves into dumpsters when it approaches its sell-by date. Nutritious crops are left unharvested because they are cosmetically imperfect. Every year in America, $162 billion worth of food is thrown away unsold. And every year in America, millions of people go hungry. That's why Waste Not Want Not volunteers have rescued and distributed food to those in need since 1990. Waste Not Want Not's goal is to put good food to good use by providing those with surplus food a convenient and cost-beneficial way to donate it, and by distributing that food quickly to those in need. Our volunteers currently pick up food at stores, restaurants, and distributors more than a hundred times a week. We also make unscheduled rescues when food does become available. For example, we have filleted the catch after fishing tournaments, and we have salvaged cases of bananas after rained out marathons. To achieve our mission, we must make more people aware that they can donate perishable foods through Waste Not Want Not. Waste Not Want Not has been successful since our founding in 1990 because we are volunteer-based and mission-focused. Run by volunteers, Waste Not fills a niche that local employee-based charities cannot. Our 250 volunteers, using their own vehicles and our box truck, rescue small donations, making trips that would not be cost efficient for employees using corporate trucks. Our volunteers are always available, ready to respond to unexpected opportunities, even after hours and on holidays. We focus our efforts on our mission, preventing the waste of food that can be used to fight hunger. We do not grow food, organize food drives, or collect food for animals or composting. We do only one thing, and we do it very well. Our volunteers. Food rescue is, by its very nature, a cost-effective way to fight hunger. And because Waste Not Volunteers together donate 500 hours a week, our cash expenses are minimal. For every dollar Waste Not spent last year, we distributed 12 pounds of food to those in need. The size and diversity of our recipient network is also critical to our effectiveness. Because we provide food to groups with various needs, such as soup kitchens, food pantries, homeless individuals, students, and seniors, we are able to find an appropriate use for any food that we're offered. Waste Not Want Not determines our success by answering the following questions. Did we rescue and distribute everything available in a timely manner? Did we do so efficiently, as in how many pounds of food did we provide per dollar spent? And most importantly, how many people had more food today, good food that otherwise would have been wasted? Most people don't realize that Waste Not never purchases food and that the food we rescue is typically distributed within 24 hours. Because our building is located in Clay County, many people believe we serve only Clay County residents. But in reality, Waste Not helps hungry people in 10 counties. Another misperception is that Waste Not distributes only bread and baked goods. However, we also rescue prepared dishes from restaurants, salads, meat, sandwiches, and dairy products from grocers, produce from farmers, and citrus from neighbors. Waste Not Want Not has grown from one woman rescuing food from a single store once a week to more than 250 volunteers who rescue food 362 days a year. We remain volunteer-driven with only two paid employees. And every year since 1990, Waste Not has increased the number of pounds rescued, even doubling our results from 750,000 pounds to 1.5 million in the past three years. Waste Not spent only $154,000 to provide more than $3 million worth of food to the community last year. And most importantly, we improve the lives of 12,000 people every week.
Waste Not Want Not's continued growth in response to the increasing demand for food assistance eventually dictated a shift from a grassroots group into a more structured corporate entity, as well as a move from our too small but rent-free home. The acquisition of a larger facility increased our need for financial support. So one challenge we are addressing is a lack of people with the marketing skills necessary to increase public awareness of our mission and of how much Waste Not magnifies each donation. Waste Not Want Not knows of surplus produce and protein-rich items that would be donated to us if we had more refrigerated space. With additional resources, we could add a walk-in cooler, which would allow us to rescue more and healthier food for our recipients, including some of those on our lengthy wait list. We could also launch an awareness campaign focused on the many issues associated with food waste, which range from water and energy conservation to environmental concerns. A successful campaign would result in a decrease in the total amount of food wasted and increase the percentage of surplus food donated rather than discarded. By replicating our hub-and-spoke model to rescue food that is geographically too far from us now, Waste Not Want Not could help even more people. Determining how to expand our efforts beyond our current radius will require careful consideration. The best location would be based on the availability of food donors, the availability of recipients, facilities, and sufficient volunteer base, as well as financial support. You can fight hunger at home by investing your time, talent, or treasure in our mission. Please join us. Together, we can put more good food to good use. Thank you.